Good morning everybody, this is Kathy from Family Farm Livestock. In today's video, we finally caught the sheep, the lambs, eating some corn leaves. We put them out here, hoping they'd eat the lower leaves off the corn, but we've never been able to catch them actually doing it. We got it today. This is the area where we first noticed they were starting to go into the corn as they're supposed to you can tell the bottom half of the corn stalk is just a stick they stripped all the leaves so this was the idea this is what it's supposed to look like just until now I could never get it on film that they were doing it There's just a few of the lambs that are out here in the corn. As you can tell, the corn's nothing to get too excited about. It didn't do well at all this year because it was super wet this spring. But anyway, we decided the lambs could get some use out of it. You can see them eating the lower leaves of the corn. And they get, on the shorter stalks, they can get some ears too. And this is just a few of them. There's Mm. I think almost 70 lambs out here. These are just the ones I've been able to film. They're pretty camera shy. As soon as we see them in the corn and we grab one of the phones to come out and film them, they skedaddle and zoom out of the corn. I don't know why. You can see one of the ones in the back with a green ear tag. That's a ewe lamb. We decided to put tags this year in the well-grown ewe lambs. So we'll be able to tell who they are a little bit later. Normally we don't tag. But anyway, this is the first I've been able to catch them in the corn. I've seen the places they've eaten, but I've never been able to actually catch them in the corn. But they would have done all the grasses and weeds that are tromped down between the rows. The lambs would have done all this. And you can see like this stalk here, for instance, they ate that leaf off. They grabbed that ear there. So they get around in here. I just walked out into the field, the cornfield a little bit more. There's a few lambs there. This is their favorite pathway in, apparently. You can see where they've eaten quite a bit off. But the reason I'm out here is because if we look a little further, that would be west. You can see the taller corn in the background there. That's how tall everything should be. 
Not the stuff in the foreground. If you look close, you can see the background corn. So a few parts of this field performed just fine. Anything that sat wet is more on the disappointing end. So we thought we'd try the lambs in here and see if they'd like to clean up the lower leaves. Plus, all the corn has ears right now, so the lower leaves really aren't doing a ton for the plant as a whole. All the green that's here is all that's going to happen. There, some of them go running away. They heard me and Sally come up on them. There, Sally. And this is the pasture that the lambs have access to. You can see a few in the distance that are grazing. Then there's a planned fence line here. The posts are up, but the wire is not, so they can just walk right on through here to the corn. And you can see they've stripped some of the leaves off. So they have the choice if they want to eat corn leaves or if they want to eat the pasture grasses. As I mentioned before, I've tried to get some pictures of them, but they're pretty evasive. And it's been really hot the past week or so, and sheep don't do great in the heat. So I didn't want to come out and bother them if they decide to run away. Not something you want them to do when it's 90 degrees out. It's just extra stress, so you stay out. So this is the first cooler morning we've had in a while where I thought I'd chance it and see if I could find some of them. Then this is the water trough for the lambs. While this field does set low and it rained last night so there's um, plenty of standing water in puddles. Like I said, the past week has been pretty warm, so there was no water out here because this field does not have creek, no creek access. So we just roll the water wagon out here, which is just a hay wagon with um, a white poly tank on it. <laughs> 